Hi again, here we are in Xcode 7 and we're talking about the table view today. And in the last video I went over some of the basics of the table view and how to set it up in Storyboard. Um, so let's go over a few more things, okay? Uh, so right now I have a table view and then I have a table view cell. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset this table view cell so that it doesn't have the picture in there and it's just a regular basic cell, okay? And maybe I'll turn off the, um, actually the picture didn't want to go away there. Let's see, let's delete it and then uh, set this to basic. And then I'm going to turn the accessory off too. Okay, so we just have the, the title there. Okay, so here's our table view. And to work with the table view, um, there is a protocol. Okay, so, and the idea here is that... Um, the table view needs a, needs information and it needs to interface with, with your app. And actually it needs to interface with anybody's app. Any app that you might create wants to work with the table view, okay? And the table view wants to work with you. And in order to work together, we have to, um, you know, conform to a, a standard protocol that we're going to use to communicate, okay? So the way this works is essentially the table view needs a data source and the data source is where the table view is going to get the information that's displayed in each of its rows and the data source needs to su supply essentially you know two things okay it's going to it's going to um, supply the number of cells in the table view so the total number of cells okay and it's going to supply a cell for you know any particular row in the table view so the table view when it needs to display rows 1 through 10 it's going to ask the data source like hey how many rows are there total you know there might be 10,000 rows and then it's going to say hey right now I'm displaying rows 1 to 10 so give me row 1 row 2 row 3 right and what your app is going to do is it's going to return a UI table view cell instance and your app is going to configure the cell. It's going to set the data in the cell. And then the table view will display that cell. Okay? And then as you scroll, the table view will ask for more cells. Okay? It'll say, oh, well, now I need cell 11 and 12 and 13 and 14, right? Okay? So there's that. Um, and then the other thing that's going to happen is the, um, the table view needs a delegate. So, and the delegate works like this, you know, um, essentially like if you were to tap a cell in a table view and you, your app wanted something to happen, you know, the table view code, the code that runs the table view and the cells, that code doesn't know what your app wants to do. And really like every app wants to do something different, right? So the table view doesn't take any action when you tap a cell. Okay, what it does is it notifies its delegate that a cell has been interacted with. Okay, so you've tapped on a cell and the table view just tells the delegate. It says, hey, you know, you're my delegate. You know, this cell number 32 was tapped and you can handle that in any way you like. Okay, so, so there you go. So the table view needs a data source and a delegate. And that's what those two things are. The data source provides the number of rows in the table view and it provides a cell for every time, you know, the table view needs to display a cell, okay? It, the, the, the data source supplies that cell configured with the information, okay? And then the table view also needs a delegate to handle any interaction with table view cells and other things that might interact with the table view, okay? So how do we set that up? You know, I've seen a lot of videos and tutorials on this, and Everybody does this a little bit differently, but essentially they're all doing exactly the same thing in different ways. And you'll see this in a lot of cases. So, so don't be confused by this. When I started doing this, this was like kind of confusing to me because everybody would do this differently. Um, so, uh, you know, there's a lot of ways to set this up. Um, some people do it all in code. Some people do it in storyboard, you know, um, and there's a couple different ways to handle it in storyboard. Um, let me show you how, one way to do it here. So now remember in Storyboard that we have um, a table view here, and this is our table view, and then this is the, um, the table view cell right here. It's hard to see that, but this is the table view here, and this is the table view cell. And if we clicked on it, you know, in the window here, this would be the table view, and this would be the cell, okay? 
<clears throat> so it's important to make the distinction here because right now what we want to do is we want to connect the table view to its data source and delegate in your view controller. Okay, so what we do is this. Um, if you control drag or right click and drag from the table view up to the view controller here, you'll see that there's two outlets, data source and delegate, and you can click on those to set it. Okay. Another way to do it is this. If you um, control click on the table view, you'll see that it shows, you know, table view and then it has outlets, outlet collections, referencing outlets, and under outlets, it shows data source and delegate again. So if you do it this way, you can drag up here and connect them like that, right? Okay. Um, let me undo that, right? Okay. So, uh, so that's another way to set it. And then the other way to set the table view is to select the table view here, just click on it once, go to the connections inspector in the upper corner, and then you'll see data source and delegate. And again, you can drag these over to the view controller here to connect them, okay? So you can use any one of those methods and they all essentially do the same thing, okay? I'm gonna do it this way. I'm just gonna control drag from here and then choose data source, and then I'll do it again and choose delegate. And you can see that they show up here on the connections inspector. And if I control click on the table view, you can see that they're showing here. And you can remove these if you want to by clicking on the X, but we, we need them connected for the next step, right? So we'll leave them on there, okay? And then we could also do this in code to, um, so, uh, so anyway, so here we are, we've got our table view. And what I wanna do is this view controller is the default view controller. So it's connected already to view controller swift right so if i go over here to view controller swift this view controller class handles um, that view right and so the other thing you can do is if if you want you can set the uh the data source and the delegate here in order to do that though you need a reference to the table view okay so we don't have a reference to the table view yet so what we can do is is this you can say um you know option click on storyboard to open it in the assistant editor and then control drag from your table view into your view controller file and then make an outlet so I'll call my outlet table view because it's a left reference to the table view right that'll be organized right and if I connect them like this you can see now I have a an IB outlet that is a reference to my table view okay and it's good to have this because we can use this to talk to the table view and tell the table view to do things like reload its data or something, okay? So if we want to refresh the list, we can do that through the table view. I'm going to remove this comment here. And if you wanted to set the data source and the delegate in code, you could set it this way. You could say, you know, uh, table view dot data source equals self. Right, and you could say table view dot delegate. For some reason, my code hints are not working. Equals self, right? So anyway, so you'd you'd set this up. Now we actually already did this in um, in our code, right? So so we don't actually need to do this here um, because I did it in Storyboard, right? So anyway, so there's our there's our table view, okay, and um, so how do we work with the table view here? Well, in order for for this class to work with the table view, it has to be the table views data source and delegate, and we've set that up in in um, in Storyboard, but we also need to set those protocols here and say that our class conforms to those protocols. So what we're gonna do is at the top here, right after it says view controller, because this is our super class, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our protocols. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be a UI table view um, data source, comma, and a UI table view delegate, okay? So here's our UI table view data source and UI table view delegate, right? So now we, are saying that this class conforms to these two protocols, okay? Now, the, the 
problem I'm getting here is I've got a little error and it's it's going to say that hey you don't conform to those two protocols yet okay and that's okay because we don't right um, essentially data source is going to is going to communicate with this view controller now like this table view is going to communicate with us and ask for the number of cells in the table view and ask for the the cell that's at a particular index in the table view and it's going to do that through a method, right? So we're going to have to implement that method. And that's what we're doing here, essentially, by saying, you know, saying the protocol is, is or setting the protocol here to UI table view data sources. We're saying that this class conforms to that, to that protocol. And we're making a deal to say that we're implementing the methods that you require. So to set the methods up, I'll put a little mark in here. And I'll say uh, table view data source methods okay and to conform to the data source what we'll do is we'll start just start typing table view and as you type table view you'll see a list of table view methods they all begin table view right and the one that we want here is number of rows in section so it's right here number of rows in section so table view number of rows in section right so uh, we'll choose that one and you can see that it sends you a table view it tells you the the section that you're in right and then um, and then it returns an int okay so um, so that returns it like the number of, of cells like an integer number but it's the count of total cells that you're going to display in the table view. So right now, why don't we return, um, you know, uh, let's return zero cells. We'll add, we'll add some cells in a minute, right? So the next thing we need to do is we need to implement the um, cell for row at index path. So the table view keeps track of every cell in the table that it's displaying in the table view via an index path and the index path essentially is the section number and the um, the index of the cell in that section okay so start typing table view and then find cell for row at index path okay so that's cell for row at index path there right and you can see that this function returns a ui table view cell okay so you know essentially you know every time it asks for a cell right for the cell for row at, at, at a particular index path, it's going to give us the index path, and we're going to create a cell and then configure it the way that we want to display, you know, we, the way we don't want to display it, and then we're going to return the cell to the table view, and the table view will display it, okay? So this one requires a little more code. Um, let's do this. Let's say um, let cell equal... And for right now, I'm just going to type in UI table view cell. And we're going to change this in a little bit. But that'll give us a UI table view cell, which is what we need to return. And then we're going to return that cell here like this. Okay? And, and there we go, right? So that's, that's our basic setup. And then somewhere in here, between creating the cell and returning the cell, we'll configure the cell and we'll set the information in the cell. So maybe we'll, we'll type in configure cell there right okay so how does this work well you know every cell has every U regular ui table view cell has a text label and we can set the text in the label to you know hello something like that right and then you know now the cells will all say hello now we're displaying zero cells at the moment so if we wanted to display 10 cells we can put a 10 in here and then if we uh, if we test our project here, oops, I I started with the iPhone 6 Plus. I'm going to switch that to the 6s. And then there you can see I've got 10 cells that all say hello, right? So obviously you want to display different information in here, and we can do that too. We're gonna we're gonna build up to that, right? But uh, but anyway, there we go. There's our basic setup for the table view, right? Okay. So uh, what's happening is we're the data source. 
So the table view asks us how many cells you want to display. And then every time it wants to display a cell, it, it asks us for a cell to display through cell for row at index path. And so this function needs to create a cell, configure the cell, and then return the cell. Okay. And then the way that the table view understands to communicate with the view controller class and call these methods on the view controller is because we've set up the table view as the data source and the delegate for, um, you know, we set, we set view controller as the data source and delegate for this table view. Actually, we're not using the delegate yet. So far, we're just using the data source. So, you know, when we, when we want to interact with a cell, then the delegate will come into play. So we actually didn't use any of the delegate methods yet. Okay. But anyway, there's a quick introduction to the, um, to the table view and we'll, we'll do more with this in the next couple videos. Okay. So thanks for watching and I hope that's useful.